I have a confession to make. For the past three years, my go-to 3D printer has been this Prusa Mark III, and it's been a tremendous workhorse of a 3D printer. I've done minimal maintenance on it, and it still reliably spits out prints. But the field of 3D printing has advanced a lot in the past three years. And whenever I scroll through YouTube or TikTok, it seems like every trendy maker channel has some kind of bamboo-like 3D printer. It's time I treat myself to an upgrade. Luckily, Chidi sent me this new toy to play around with. Will this become my new go-to 3D printer? Let's find out! Almost every 3D printer has some unique quirk to it, and with the Chidi, its claim to fame is the heated build chamber. That's right, not only is it enclosed, but the build chamber has its own dedicated heater. A lot of 3D printers use the build plate to heat up the build volume, but Chidi takes it to the next level by adding a standalone heater in this corner. This type of technology isn't very common nowadays. It's probably because Stratasys, a big name in the industrial 3D printing industry, held a patent on a heated build chamber, but it did expire in 2021, so maybe we'll be seeing more of these types of printers soon. One thing I'm excited to try out is printing with ABS. You see, ABS shrinks as it cools, and if I try to print with ABS with an open printer such as the Prusa Mark III, the print will likely fail. A volume of uniform temperature is necessary for materials such as ABS. For my first print, I designed this birdhouse that can hold a security camera. You'll see why later. Since this part is going to be spending a lot of time outdoors, I decided that ABS would be the perfect material for the job. During the prototyping phase, I made several small rings to test fit the geometry of the camera, and the print quality was stunning. These parts were done with PLA, and they are quite literally perfect. There's no elephant footing at the base, no resonances or fish scaling, and a perfectly smooth bottom and top layer. The quality of the final ABS print was just as good. The heated build chamber did wonders to make this part come out as smooth as possible. My only complaint was that there was a little bit of Z-wobble, but it was a minor defect. So the reason I made a birdhouse with a camera in it is so I can put seeds in it and get close-up shots of birds as they eat. Take a look. While we're watching these birds, it's worth noting that Chidi gave me this printer for free. They didn't give me any talking points, and I even declined the commission on the printer so I can try and give you as objective of a review as possible. But I have a question for you. If a YouTuber gets a product for free, is it possible for them to make an objective review of said product? Tell me your thoughts in the comments, and I'll share my opinion at the end of the video. It's interesting to see how the ABS held up after a week of being outdoors. Aside from getting a little dirty, it developed a crack from the excessive sunlight and changes in temperature. So one thing I like to do whenever I get a new printer is to make a print of Gandalf. It's a benchmark, kind of like a Benchy. Here is a Gandalf that I made with the Chidi compared to one that I made a while back with the Prusa. Surprisingly, I have to say I like the detail on the Prusa's Gandalf a lot more, although it is a bit of an apples to oranges comparison because these two prints were done on separate filaments. Having spent a month with this printer, I've gotta say I really like it. Not only is it fast, but it's capable of printing with a large array of materials, the quality of the prints are also good, but not perfect when it comes to rendering small details such as the case of the Gandalf print. That's less of a priority to me because I mainly focus on making functional parts for engineering purposes, so speed is my number one priority. The Chidi can make a Benchy in 18 minutes, where it takes the Prusa over an hour. Now I know what you're gonna say, it might seem like an unfair comparison to put an old printer like the Prusa Mark III against the Chidi Q1 Pro, but I have the feeling that a lot of other makers are in the same boat as me. I I was happy with my Prusa, so I never bothered upgrading, but this printer has shown me how much the field has advanced in the last three years, and the Chidi Q1 Pro has become my go-to printer for the past month I've had it. There are some things I don't like about the Chidi Q1 Pro. First of all, the nozzle wiper seems very flimsy, and I get the feeling it'll break at any second. It's made of plastic, and I hope a mod for a sturdier version will come out soon. Also, this printer does take a very long time to start printing. It takes almost 6 minutes to start a PLA print, and the Prusa 
also only takes 2 minutes. Don't even get me started on how long it takes to warm up for ABS. Every ABS print took me a minimum of 15 minutes just to start. This next point is more of a concern for the future than a criticism of the printer, but I wonder how the heated build chamber will affect the wear and tear on the internal components of the printer. The lead screws, bearings, and motors are all exposed to the heated environment, so I wonder if it'll cause accelerated wear. I haven't had any issues so far, but I guess only time will tell. If you were paying attention earlier, you would have remembered that I asked the question. I promised to share my answer, so I will. If a YouTuber gets a product for free, is it possible for them to give an objective review of said product? Well, in my opinion, the answer is no. Personally, when I spend a lot of money on a product, I'm more aware of its annoying features. But when I get things for free, I'm a lot less bothered by its defects. I don't have any skin in the game, it doesn't affect me. I still try to be as objective as possible, but you should keep this in mind when you watch my videos, and also other people's videos. That being said, I do really like this printer. I think that if it broke, I would pay for a replacement. There really isn't anything like it at the moment. To those of you who are still watching, let me know in the comments how old your favorite printer is. And also, thanks for watching.